Dawson couldn't get the shot in. And Martin Hayes' first bit of action in anger has put the ball into the French net. What a corker. You won't see many better than that. For those of you that might have seen Brian Marwood's volley on the second half against Millwall on Saturday, well, that was very, very similar. And what a crunching shot from Martin Hayes. And Martin Hayes, who has yet to score in the Arsenal first team this season, will certainly not score a better one than that. That really was a crunching drive. They push forward, they push the French back. They look eager and hungry. And here goes Hayes again on the edge of the area. And it's Kasten Douche doing a little bit of covering for France. And Michel Platini's troops are looking a little ragged at the moment. There's no doubt about that. Martin Hayes with the opener for Arsenal. 15 minutes of the second half gone. And O'Leary is up, but uh, they're signalling to the bench that I don't think they want to take any chances. And I think Steve Bald will be coming on in a few moments' time. David O'Leary is up and walking off. I don't know whether he's got a blow in the face, actually. But Steve Ball's going to come on to replace the Republic of Ireland International. And again, no chances taken by Arsenal. The things are looking bright for Arsenal, certainly. And brighter again could be as Prunier robs Paul Merson. He really is the man who's holding the French together at the back at the moment. Because if he wasn't there, I think Michel Blatini could have real problems. Rowcastle on the far side tries to go around Bollinger. He's brought down by Bravo, the substitute. And Arsenal have themselves a free kick. It's almost right on the goal line on that far side of the field. It's about 10 yards outside the penalty area. And Lee Dixon will try and swing it in and inflict some more damage on the French cause. As Dixon puts it in with the right foot, it bounces off of Bravo. And it didn't seem to be 10 yards, but Arsenal have their just desserts and the fact they've got a corner on this near side. Brian Marwood of course is the normal corner taker. He's gone off substituted by Martin Hayes so Kevin Richardson will do the honours on this near side for the Gunners. Richardson's got Lee Dixon coming short, waves him away and so Richardson's going to try the long one. Steve Bolt's already at the near post and he goes in, bats his nowhere as it's headed out and on the edge of the area Thomas will steady it in for Winterburn! Oh! In fact it was Hayes in the end. <laughs> It was Martin Hayes again. I almost did him a disservice. And that one went inches over the top of the crossbar. And Jean Bats was very, very happy to see that one go into the North Bank. And Martin Hayes has made an explosive start. There's no doubt about that. If one remembers the kind of thing that he did for Arsenal in the Littlewoods Cup final against Luton last season. And in Rowe Castle is beaten by the substitute Bravo. And Durand goes down under challenge from Lee Dixon. And... Uh, Rather unsportingly aimed a kick at Dixon as he was falling. Particularly the Arsenal fullback who got far enough out of trouble for that. Bollinier coming forward, doesn't quite know where to go. And Frank Sauze, who really has been totally anonymous in the second half, puts the ball out on this near side, goes off of Lee Dixon, and France have themselves a throw in. Bollinier chips it across far side, more in hope than anything else, and Steve Bold will turn it back from the edge of the 18 yard area to goalkeeper John Lukic. Lukic bowls it out far side of the field for Nigel Winterburn. Winterburn forward for Alan Smith. And far side of the field, Martin Hayes will break, and Hayes coming forward here. He can really cover himself in glory. And the cross is not a good one. On the far side, Paul Merson had made good space. And it was a short come cross from Martin Hayes. He was really caught in two minds. Merson had made good space on the far post. In the end, Hayes was caught between the cross and the shot, and it went harmlessly wide of Joel Bats. Time for France to make a substitution. It'll be the number seven, Jean-Philippe Durand of Toulouse, will be coming off. The number 13, Philippe Vercruz of Marseille, will be coming on. And substitution in the commentary box as well. It's Arsenal 1, France nil, and to take you through till full time, I'll hand you back now to Paul Sparry. Play picked up by Sylvester. Inside left channel, just inside his own half. Dixon does well to dispossess uh, Paye there, but Paye picks up the return pass from Blanc, goes down the left flank, and it's a nice sliding challenge from Bold, puts the ball out of play, another substitution for Arsenal, David Rowcastle is coming off, and Perry Groves is coming on, so Arsenal's third substitution of the evening. As France take this throw not quite level with the edge of the Arsenal 19 yard area on this near side. Bollinier will take it. It's got the option short. 
elects to take it, but Perry Groves intercepts and gets his first touch to the ball. Finds Richardson, Richardson to Merson on the halfway line. The ball kept in play by Groves. Off on a run down the right-hand touchline. And he's got two French players shadowing. Groves gets the century. Smith with a shot. That's got in. Oh, an excellent goal for Arsenal. Alan Smith, the goal scorer. It's Arsenal 2, France 0. And some fine running from Perry Groves, from the long clearance forward from Kevin Richardson. He had two French players around him. One went to the man, one went to try to cut off the space in the 18-yard area. But when the ball came across, Alan Smith was there. 29 minutes of the second half gone. It's Arsenal 2, France 0.